Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning is an extension of the Hypertext Transfer Protocol that facilitates collaboration between users in editing and managing documents and files stored on World Wide Web servers. A working group of the Internet Engineering Task Force defined WebDAV in RFC 4918. The WebDAV protocol makes the web a readable and writable medium. It provides a framework for users to create, change and move documents on a server. Typically a web server or web share. The most important features of the WebDAV protocol include the maintenance of properties about an author or modification date, namespace management, collections, and overwrite protection. Maintenance of properties includes such things as the creation, removal, and querying of file information. Namespace management deals with the ability to copy and move web pages within a server or Euro unregistered trademark as namespace. Collections deal with the creation, removal, and listing of various resources. Lastly, overwrite protection handles aspects related to locking of files. The WebDAV Working Group concluded its work in March 2007, after the Internet Engineering Steering Group accepted an incremental update to RFC 2518. Other extensions left unfinished at that time, such as the bind method, have been finished by their individual authors, independent of the formal working group. Many modern operating systems provide built-in client-side support for WebDAV. History WebDAV began in 1996 when Jim Whitehead, a Ph.D. graduate from UC Irvine, worked with the World Wide Web Consortium to host two meetings to discuss the problem of distributed authoring on the World Wide Web with interested people. Tim Berners-Lee's original vision of the web was that of a medium for both reading and writing. In fact, Berners-Lee's first web browser, called World Wide Web, was able to both view and edit web pages. But, as the web grew, it became a read-only medium for most users. Whitehead and other like-minded people wanted to fix that limitation. The W3C meeting decided to form an IETF working group, because the new effort would lead to extensions to HTTP, which was being standardized at the IETF. As work began on the protocol, it became clear that handling both distributed authoring and versioning would involve too much work and that the tasks would have to be separated. The WebDAV group focused on distributed authoring, and left versioning for the future. Versioning was added later by the Delta V extension a Euro see the extensions section below. The protocol consists of a set of new methods and headers for use in HTTP. The added methods include, PropFind a Euro used to retrieve properties, stored as XML, from a web resource. It is also overloaded to allow one to retrieve the collection structure of a remote system. Propatch a euro used to change and delete multiple properties on a resource in a single atomic act, MKCOL a euro used to create collections, copy a euro used to copy a resource from one URI to another, move a euro used to move a resource from one URI to another, lock a euro used to put a lock on a resource. WebDAV supports both shared and exclusive locks. Unlock a euro used to remove a lock from a resource, implementations, servers, the cross-platform Apache HTTP server provides WebDAV modules based on both DAVFS and Apache subversion. Microsoft's IIS also has a WebDAV module. Cloud services like Box, Drive HQ and OneDrive support WebDAV. Clients Linux users can mount WebDAV shares using the DAVFS2 and the FuseDAV file system modules which mount them as CODA or Fuse file systems. KDE has native WebDAV support as part of QHTTP. This enables the file managers Dolphin and Conqueror, and every other KDE application to interact directly with WebDAV servers. All applications using the GIO library, including the Nautilus file manager, have access to WebDAV through GNOME Virtual File System. Many Linux distributions also include the Cadaver command line client interface, which provides an FTP-like command set. Mac OS X version 10.0 and following support WebDAV shares natively as a type of file system. The system can mount WebDAV-enabled server directories to the file system using the traditional BSD mounting mechanism or through the connector server dialog found in the finder. 
Mac OS X version 10.1.1 introduced support for HTTP Digest Access Authentication. Mac OS X 10.4 extended WebDAV interoperability to include support for the HTTPS scheme, proxies, and additional methods of authentication. The Finder presents a WebDAV share as an external disk, allowing users to interact with WebDAV just as they would with any other file system. Apple's iDisk, part of its former mobile Me service, used WebDAV for file access. Microsoft introduced WebDAV client support in Microsoft Windows 98 with a feature called Web Folders. This client consisted of an LA object which could be accessed by any old software, and was installed as an extension to Windows Explorer and was later included in Windows 2000. In Windows XP, Microsoft added the Web Client Service also known as the WebDAV Mini Redirector which is preferred by default over the old Web Folders client. This newer client works as a system service at the network redirector level, allowing WebDAV shares to be assigned to a drive letter and used by any software. The redirector also allows WebDAV shares to be addressed via UNC paths for compatibility with Windows file system APIs. Some versions of the redirector are reported to have some limitations in authentication support. In addition, WebDAV over HTTPS works only if a computer has KB892211 version files or newer installed. Otherwise Windows displays the folder you entered does not appear to be valid. Please choose another, when adding a network resource. Note, 892211 has been superseded by KB907306. Windows Vista includes only the WebDAV redirector but if you install a version of Office, Internet Explorer, OldDB or Microsoft Update for web folders you will get the original web folders client. The update will only work on the 32-bit version of XP Vista. Microsoft states that 64-bit versions of Windows will never support the web folders client. Instead users are limited to using WebDAV via the native web client service redirector. Alternatives to WebDAV File transfer protocol, a simple network protocol based on IP, allows users to transfer files between network hosts. FTPS extends FTP for secure traffic. SSH file transfer protocol, an extension of the Secure Shell Protocol version 2.0, provides secure file transfer capability. A distributed file system such as the Server Message Block Protocol allows Microsoft Windows and open-source Samba clients to access and manage files and folders remotely on a suitable file server, AtomPub, an HTTP-based protocol for creating and updating web resources, can be used for some of the use cases of WebDAV. It is based on standard HTTP verbs with standardized collection resources that behave somewhat like the WebDAV model of directories. CMIS, a standard consisting of a set of web services for sharing information among disparate content repositories, seeks to ensure interoperability for people and applications using multiple content repositories. It is both SOAP and Atom Pub based interfaces, documents produced by the working group. The WebDAV working group produced several works, a requirements document, Requirements for a distributed authoring and versioning protocol for the World Wide Web RFC 2291, issued February 1998, a base protocol document, HTTP extensions for web distributed authoring and versioning RFC 4918, issued June 2007, the Audit Collections Protocol, Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Audit Collections Protocol RFC 3648, issued December 2003, the Access Control Protocol, Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Access Control Protocol or FC 3744, issued May 2004, a quota specification, quota and size properties for distributed authoring and versioning collections are FC 4331, issued February 2006, a redirect specification, Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Redirect Reference Resources RFC 4437, issued March 2006, other documents published through IETF, the versioning protocol, versioning extensions to WebDAV RFC 3253, a specification of WebDAV property data types, 
Data types for web distributed authoring and versioning properties are FC 4316, a document defining how to initiate mounting of a web DAV resource. Mounting web distributed authoring and versioning servers are FC 4709, a calendar access protocol. Calendaring extensions to web DAV are FC 4791, a query protocol. Web distributed authoring and versioning search are FC 5323, an extension to the web DAV ACL specification. Web DAV current principal extension are FC 5397. An extension to the Web DAV MKCOL method, extended MKCOL for web distributed authoring and versioning RFC 5689, an extension of the collection model, defining creation and discovery of additional bindings to a resource, binding extensions to web distributed authoring and versioning RFC 5842, an application of POST to Web DAV collections. Using POST to add members to web distributed authoring and versioning collections are FC5995, an extension which allows synchronizing large collections efficiently. Collection synchronization for web distributed authoring and versioning are FC6578 extensions and derivatives. For versioning, the Delta V protocol under the Web Versioning and Configuration Management Working Group adds resource revision tracking, published in RFC3253. For searching and locating, the DAV Searching and Locating Working Group never produced any official standard although there are a number of implementations of its last draft. Work continued as non-working group activity. The Web DAV Search specification attempts to pick up where the working group left off, and was published as RFC 5323 in November 2008. For calendaring. CalDAV is a protocol allowing calendar access via Web DAV. CalDAV models calendar events as HTTP resources in iCalendar format, and models calendars containing events as Web DAV collections. For Drupalware, Group DAV is a variant of Web DAV which allows client server Drupalware systems to store and fetch objects such as calendar items and address book entries instead of web pages. For MAS exchange interoperability, Web DAV can be used for reading deleting items in a mailbox or public folder. Web DAV for Exchange has been extended by Microsoft to accommodate working with messaging data. Exchange Server version 2000, 2003, and 2007 support Web DAV. However, Web DAV support has been discontinued in Exchange 2010 in favor of Exchange Web Services a SOAP XML-based API. Additional Windows-specific extensions, as part of the Windows Server Protocols documentation set, Microsoft published the following protocol documents detailing extensions to Web DAV, MIS WDVME Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Protocol, Microsoft Extensions. These extensions include a new verb and new headers, and properties that enable previously unmanageable file types and optimize protocol interactions for file system clients. These extensions introduce new functionality into Web DAV, optimize processing, and eliminate the need for special case processing. MIS WDV Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Protocol, Client Extensions the client extensions in this specification extend the Web DAV protocol by introducing new headers that both enable the file types that are not currently manageable and optimize protocol interactions for file system clients. These extensions do not introduce new functionality into the Web DAV protocol, but instead optimize processing and eliminate the need for special case processing. MIS WDVSE Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Protocol Server extensions. The server extensions in this specification extend Web DAV by introducing new HTTP request and response headers that both enable the file types that are not currently manageable and optimize protocol interactions for file system clients. This specification also introduces a new Web DAV method that is used to send search queries to disparate search providers. MIS Update Web Distributed Authoring and Versioning Error Extensions Protocol Specification This SharePoint front-end protocol describes extended error codes and extended error handling mechanisms specified in MIS WDV to enable compliance servers to report error condition details on a server response. See also, CalDAV, 
Card DAB, Group DAB, Content Management, Distributed File System, Filing OS ID, ICE, References. External links, Web DAV Resources, DAVFS2 Project, FuseDAV Project, Web DAV Apache Modules.